Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Doom 2 episode. My name is Brandon B. Rich. We are doing No Rest for the Living on the Ultra Violence difficulty. And yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab this secret right here. And then with the super shotgun, try to line both of those guys up. We're just going to go out here immediately. This thing right here is actually your first secret of the map, so you don't want to miss it. Now, I like to have the super shotgun out for this part and just take care of these guys. And then I like to get the rocket out to take care of this Hell Knight. There we go. And then with the chain gun equipped, take care of these guys. Then super shotgun this Hell Knight. And then go ahead and pull the chain gun out again. And definitely take care of that chain gunner first. He is he's the highest risk next to the Revenant. That was interesting. And he's dead. Now rocket launcher equipped. Just shoot two at that two at that guy. Oh wow, he didn't die. Okay. Well that pinky kinda thwarted our plans. There we go. And then Yeah. Just go ahead and take care of that guy. Now I'm gonna lower this wall down and while it's lowering I'm gonna take care of these guys right here. And then when you step in here, just scoot back and shoot one rocket and then shotgun the other one. Now with the chain gun equipped, we're going to keep continuing our way up here. And you can use whatever you want. I like to use a super shotgun more on those guys. I don't know. That was a direct... That was two direct hits on him and he didn't die. Okay. Now with the chain gun equipped, we can continue up this way. I like to super shotgun this Mancubus, however. <laughs> well, we'll try and save this health for as long as we can, but it won't last long. There we go. Alright, now, this is a secret right here. And we're gonna flip it. What it does is it lowers down this wall right here to grant us access to all of this stuff over here. We're gonna save that Berserk health for later. We're not actually going to use the Berserk Fist. Now there is a Baron of Hell up here, ironically. This must be the Baron's Banquet. And just peekaboo shot him around the corner. Now we already have 200 cell ammo, so we're just going to grab one of these. Flip this and rush down with the chain gun equipped in hand. Man, I got caught on the pillar there. And shoot once if you want. Oh, shoot. I was hoping that wouldn't happen. So yeah, sometimes they'll actually trap you with their infinite height. But not to worry, we got around him. I like to gather them all into this little corner here. And then I like to use the chain gun until it's gone, and then I actually like to pull out the rocket launcher to finish them off. Uh, save some rocket ammo, you're going to want to for later. You can take care of the rest of them with plasma auto rifle ammo, or you can just take care of them with the shotgun, however you please. There's usually, yeah, there's always a cacodemon up in there, so just look out for him. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now that that section is done... Yeah, we'll save the health. Okay. Well, actually, no. So this is a secret here. We're just gonna go ahead and grab it now. Are you kidding me? That guy was douchey. Coming around here... There's a Cacodemon that got alerted to us. I don't know where he's at, though. Just collect all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, there he is. Dude, punk. Now the green armor's not the best, but it is better than no armor, so that's why we grabbed it. Now if you come around here... Yeah, here we go. Sorry, I got lost there for a second. So yeah, you'll just come around this way, grab the rocket. I'll take care of the Cacodemon now. And then come up here to grab this stuff right here. 
and then get a bunch of this ammo and we're gonna save those shells. So I like to have the rocket launcher after this part. Spray about four rockets. And then, opening this door, I like to spray four rockets as well. And that should honestly take care of them all. Opening this is a secret. This leads you to the next part of the map. It should only take two super shotgun blasts to kill this guy because he's right next to you. Grabbing the area map, you can now see everywhere. We're gonna go into here. And I'm gonna actually rush forward, shoot once, and then run all the way back. But hopefully we can get some infighting going. And I just like to stay in this doorway and uh, fire at these cacodemons with the um, chain gun. Trust me, it's easier if you do it like this than it is most other ways. I mean, there's there's other ways you can do this, guys, but I like doing it this way. It's safe and it, it's chaotic, so it's fun. We already got him in fighting with a cacodemon. Just make sure this door doesn't close behind you. You're always wanting an escape route. I'll just plasma auto rifle the rest of them. There we go. Okay, well, that went really well, actually, so I'm not even tripping. Gonna go ahead and take care of all these guys with the plasma auto rifle. Just make sure you're moving constantly, because if you stay still at any time, you're gonna get wrecked. That's basically all of Doom, isn't it? Oh, yeah, no. Die, dude. Goodness. Okay. Gonna go ahead and grab this, and yes, we're gonna grab those shells. Don't worry about those amps, we'll get them later. And then grab these. And now just go ahead and spray about 30 into this guy. Oh wow, that actually killed him, okay. And then grab the blue key here. So, we're not gonna go in the bottom one, we're gonna go in the top one right over here. I don't think it creates any crazy significance, but it's just easier that way. And uh, then yeah, jump down here, grab this cell, this cell, and all of these rockets. And now we're going to, um, <laughs> we're gonna release a lot of demons here in a second. I like to clear out these demons. Oh shoot, okay. Yeah, I just use the BFG and go to town until you have about 100 ammo left. I used too much right there. That was my bad. And we actually, did we, did we already kill the his name. I think we killed that one guy. Oh shoot. Well it's okay, there's plenty of health. Yeah, use the rocket launcher on these guys. And then make sure you keep your distance. This room is big for a reason. Do not get super close to them, especially with the rocket launcher. And then I like to just plasma auto rifle the rest of them. There we go, easy. And then go ahead and grab all these rockets. Now that we have this section done, the rest of the map is pretty smooth sailing for the most part. I won't say it's super easy. This is actually the exit, but we're not gonna take it quite yet. We still have a little bit more tasks to perform. So we're actually going to go up the way that we didn't come from before. And then go up around this way. We're now going to obtain the yellow key. So all you do is you run up here and then go to this corner right here and then just kind of inch your way off the ledge grabbing this Enviro suit alongside all of these items and then you can actually come around here take care of this freak and then grab all of these items here there's nothing else out here so don't even bother you can ride that lift up if you need to but it's really not that important then we'll flip the switch and just wait for the thing to lower When you go into here, 
You were able to grab the yellow key and flip this switch to lower down that. And then we can actually just um, go up these stairs here. And now open the yellow door which is right here. Just kill these imps, super easy. And this game thankfully gives you a lot of this type of ammo which we will need. Pull out the rocket launcher for this part, you're going to want it. And just start firing. And then, with this part, flip this switch, have the rocket launcher ready, and go to town on these guys. And then rocket launcher still equipped, I'm just going to go ahead and mow these guys down over here. Now plasma auto rifle in, in hand. Just uh, slay the rest of them. Man, the sheer number of bodies on this map is insane. And I think that takes care of just about all of these folks. Okay, sweet, yeah. So, there's actually one more area we gotta go to before we leave the map. And it is over here. Oh, we already have shotgun ammo. See those demons? We're gonna get over there in just a couple seconds. So don't go in that yellow door. Don't go over to the left. We're actually going to go up here. Grabbing this. And then just using the plasma auto rifle, going to town on all these guys. Grab this. And we're almost done. Press A on this secret here. And just spray. And now we have the BFG again. I believe that's everything in the map. We can now exit, ladies and gentlemen, but first I'm going to go up here and collect any ammo that I might have missed. Yep, quite a bit indeed. There we go. Just gonna run off the edge here. There we go. Super fun to do that, I love it. This map is just so fun in so many ways. And we basically have full ammo and everything except for rockets, but that's okay. And then of course the final secret being right here. Full health and armor and almost full ammo on all accounts. And that is Baron's Banquet. So yeah, Baron's Banquet is one of my favorite maps in Doom overall. I love this map. This, uh, this map actually took me a couple attempts because I made a lot of dumb mistakes and I forgot a few secrets. But uh, yeah, there's quite a few secrets. I, I don't know how many. There's like nine or eight, I believe. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video was enjoyable and helpful and i hope to see you in the next video we are going to finish no rest for the living and tomb of malevolence so i'll see you in the next one